Hey guys, in this video I want to show you different ways of farming Graveyard and especially focused on not having every weapon. So I'm gonna show different weapons and styles. So yeah, let's take a look at my skills first. I'm a Mose, uh, build for incendiary damage and ammo regeneration. Looks kinda like this. Then my mods I have installed, class mods and everything. This is the first one, and this one, this one, this one. The first one here uh, is for the first weapon I'm gonna show you, the King's Call. It's obviously the best weapon for killing Graveheart after the porcelain pipe has been uh, well fixed. So for the Jacobs, I use this uh, extra Jacobs critical damage build. Yeah, let's just start with the Jacobs gun. Uh, this one's pretty fairly simple. Just run forward and aim at his critical points and spam your weapon. Oh, yeah. If you aim good, you will never stop shooting. And he's dead. This was fairly easy. Um, you can get this weapon from Tyrene, the destroyer. Obviously, you want to have it with fire damage, as I do have it. Um, because Graveyard, well, he, he's wood. So, yeah. That's the first one. The second way is the Vicious Lyuda, Lydia, uh, which is Red Tax Mankiller. It's a very good sniper. And for that, I'm gonna equi uh, equip my Desperate and Trench Bloodletter back so I get more gun damage overall since it uh, increases this one. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh. All you gotta do is aim at the those points again. Just be aware that you have to be far enough away so the shots spit. Because this weapon, as you see, after a certain distance the shots spit. And you get three shots out of one. It obviously isn't as good as the King's Call, but it's good enough. It does some decent damage, it's not the fastest, but... Also, the sweat is really depending on the roll you get. So maybe uh, I have, yeah, I have minus 50% rifles damage and minus 70% normal bullets damage. And this weapon does not have any status effects. Actually, I have this weapon with uh, here lightning damage. Maybe it's better. Yeah, you see, it's way better now. So also, you want to have this weapon with fire damage. I don't have it kind of unlucky it's a well drop so we can get it from everywhere and yeah I'm, now I'm out of ammo so there's also one downside of the weapon you will quickly be out of ammo even with the regeneration so what I did for that is uh, here whenever I exit iron bear I will get infinite ammo so I'm gonna do that right now and I exit and I'm have infinite ammo obviously he's not showing his critical points now yeah so this weapon is not optimal but it does its job uh, you just have to make sure you don't have a roll that gives you minus 50% and minus 70% again so you've seen it's okay it's not too fast but it's okay what I forgot to mention is if you are really farming stuff just go offline, start the game offline, and you will get those bonuses, and you will also get more legendaries. So, like, just do it, honestly, nobody's going to care. You get way more XP, you get way more, uh, way better loot because of the uh, legendary uh, drop rate um, change. So, just do that. Then, to the next weapon, the third weapon, it's the Binary Mocking Cutsman. Also, you want to have this weapon with fire damage, obviously, um, or any elemental damage. So, yeah, this weapon is also fairly simple, but you just got to remember, uh, it's like a little special. You have, you do the dam highest damage when the sky is in this mode. You see, it's quite a lot of damage. 
but when he gets closer you do, you do way less damage so you really have to kill him quickly otherwise uh, it's gonna take way longer so you see that now I do way less damage now for some reason I think it's because uh, those thingies are like quite uh, how do you say wide and they do multiple damage if it hits the big critical uh, area over there so just wait for this moment and he's dead the next map you can use is the molten the dictator which deals quite a lot of damage and you have to make sure you use fire damage obviously and the bite pod fire motors which usually shoots like that with the uh, bite pod it shoots like this and deals massive amounts of damage and yeah because you have ammo regeneration you don't really need to use iron bear or anything you just deal quite a lot of damage just make sure you hit the critical damage and if you aim it also without aiming with aiming so just aim down your sights this weapon will drop everywhere so yeah good luck for farming that weapon so the next weapon is the burning flaker uh obviously with uh fire damage because it's burning it's not optimal but it's good enough you just have to make sure you're really really close to him and then well you have to be really close at that, that it does some decent damage especially when he gets closer and he will get closer um, right about now so now I can do quite a lot of damage Just make sure you don't kill yourself. Obviously, as you can see, it's not optimal because now I'm too far away to deal damage to him. Maybe I can do it here. Yeah, you can do it. The uh, deal damage to his hands while he does this, so... Good enough, I guess. Well, now we can't do any damage to him. I think. Let's try. No. Oh, it actually did damage. Okay. So the burning flaker also drops everywhere. Though I had a really hard time having it drop for me. So the next weapon is the redundant the butcher. Also with fire damage, it deals quite a lot of damage. Um, the only problem is the ammunition, so I'm gonna use um, Iron Bear, so I get infinite ammunition. And yeah, then you can just smelt him in seconds. But you really need uh, infinite ammunition, because otherwise, look, look at my magazine. Yeah, but this weapon is pretty decent. You just have to make uh, sure that you have crazy ammo regeneration or infinite uh, infinite ammo uh, to get this weapon working. It's also a world drop, so it drops everywhere. What I forgot to mention, uh, this weapon deals those massive amount of uh, damage because it shoots so fast. And I have this uh, combo, uh, which increases gun damage by 2% for one second with each shot. So that's why it deals so much damage. It obviously deals very uh, a lot of damage before that too but the crazy amount of damage you have seen is due to that last but not least we have this uh double penetrating shredded laser exploder which is not optimal again but it can get a job done because it's also uh mid-range uh or close to mid-range so you have to get really close again and then you can deal some decent damage. If he's close, it's very good. But if he's not, well. Come on, dude. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, this weapon is also world drop, drops everywhere, and that's about it with the weapons. And then I'm gonna show you one more thing. So, at last I'm going to show you the elemental projector. Cosmic Crater Artifact, which uh, basically gives you a big damage boost whenever you suffer this elemental effect. To actually make you suffer, you need the grenade epicenter or any other f gun or grenade which will cause you to burn. And then, honestly, any gun. Uh, if you remember my storming Crovy Luidia, I'm gonna show you how much damage it does without it. So... Pretty good, right? So I'm gonna make myself burn. Now I'm, I am burning, and yeah, it deals quite more damage. Just make sure you don't kill yourself. Yeah. So the elemental projector artifact is really something you should look into if you have it. Just make sure you don't kill yourself. You also can obviously use those balls he's shooting down there to get your damage. So. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please like it. I'm also going to create more Borderlands guides uh, for farming and explosive guides for most. We should take a look at my latest explosive most uh, build, and yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>